It's when the sun comes shining through. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's good. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more. Just having a good time, guys. It's a chill vibe today. Trying to always improve the video, so we added a little bit of an intro thing for you guys today. Let's just hop into the video right away, guys. What do we think? Right away? Okay, let's do it. So, we got a very fun video for you guys today. We've got a team of Obstagoon, Nido Queen, and Skarmory. This team gets hard walled a lot, but this team also wins a lot of games. And the reason why is because if you find a Charmer in the lead, it's sometimes really hard. Like this game right here, because what do you what, what do you want to do? Do you want to swap out Needle Queen and try and get a little bit into it? Because they most certainly have an answer for Needle Queen in the back, whether that be Skarmory, whether that be, you know, something. Something in the back is going to be good against Needle Queen, guys. Like this right here, a Diggersby. We do get a shield. I don't, I don't agree with my play here. I don't think you should, should shield this one, guys. I think you just let it go. Come in with uh, Obstagoon. Go for the counter down. We are running cross chop, not obstruct. Cross chop's just a little bit better, guys. Uh, that's any pro player that uses Obstagoon just knows, you know, cross chop's just going to be a little bit better. Cross chop's a pretty good move, to be honest, in general. They throw the uh, fire punch here, which is actually really good for me because instead of having to throw the cross chop, I can counter all the way down. Now, how valuable this is going to be, I'm not too sure because obviously they still have a uh, an Azumarill in the back. Going to be able to throw the Night Slash. We're hoping that they think I have Gunk Shot. Most likely they're just, yeah, they're going to opt to not shield it. That's what I would do if I was the Zoom roll. Not going to really trust that they have something that's really good. They're going to end up throwing here, and it is a Hydro Pump, which definitely hurts really bad. And, of course, they got another normal type in back. So that's what I'm just saying. Like, you know, Obstagoon in the lead can hard win you games. Obstagoon's generally better up a shield um, or up shields. Just because it's spammy, it does good damage, the counters get ramped up with that Night Slash boost. Really hoping to get a boost here. That's all I'm asking for. No boost. And we're going to see how many Night Slashes I can throw without a boost now. I'm timing all of these perfectly. All of these Night Slashes are perfectly timed. I do not allow them to get an extra bubble off. No extra bubbles. No sneak throughs. No nothing like that. This is perfectly timed. We're going to get an entire another one off. They're obviously building up to the back-to-back -back play rough here. But play rough does not stack, meaning they're going to have to throw a couple extra bubbles to get to the second one. And we're just a couple of turns short, guys. So that's really unfortunate. But that just shows you the potential of this team. We hard lose lead. We hard lose swap. Here's a really interesting glitch. Got the let's go into the battle league thing there. This is obviously a lose. Especially with Fairy Wind now. They're going to end up opting to stay into this match. Going to throw the Poison Fang. This is going to do a lot of super effective damage. They are going to opt to shield it. And uh, there's no point for me not to shield this. It's a dazzling gleam though. Definitely thought it was going to be the Acrobatics. I don't know. You know, maybe they just did not have an answer for Nido Queen. Another hard loss, guys. And then a hard loss on the save swap. Obviously, this is a little bit better since they aren't the Water Gun variant. Water Gun variant is going to do just a lot better against Nidoqueen. I can shield this Surf now and going to be able to pressure again with the Earth Power. But I'm going to throw the Poison Fang. I don't know if this is the right answer, guys. I definitely... You know, that's the one thing you got to do. Sometimes you just got to record your battles, look back, see what you did wrong... It's one of the best things I could tell you. They're going to swap back into Metacham, and that's really good for me because that aligns my Skarmory to Metacham. Skarmory has a thousand times better of a matchup against Metacham than Obstagoon, obviously. Now, they're going to throw the Psychic here. Definitely shouldn't be throwing the Psychic. I would throw... Um, I would definitely throw Ice Punch if you have it more than anything else. Now, these counters aren't going to be doing enough damage to Nino Queen. Now, the reason this team works so well is because Obstagoon is generally weak 
to two things. But even if it's weak to three things, the, all the answers are covered. So it's weak to bug, right? Which is covered by the poison typing and the flying typing. It's weak to fighting, also covered. And then the last thing it's obviously weak to is charm, also covered by Nidoqueen and Skarmory. So it's just really good synergy between the guys. And one thing that both of these Pokemon tend to struggle with is steel types. So Obstagoon does well against that. I think that's all the battles. Nope. One more battle, guys. I lied. One more battle. Hard lose. Again, a Charmer on the lead. So we're going to hope to swap out of here. And we get a pretty much hard counter on the swap here. You know Queen can win the matchup. But they need to get to two Earth Powers to do so. It's just so difficult to do. When they can throw one Earthquake and take us out. I am going to end up shielding this. And that's going to allow us to get to another... Earthquake or Earth Power, sorry. Getting a lot of B real notifications. I'm sorry about that. We do get another shield, which is nice. And I'm gonna end up being able to throw another poison fang. So obviously they don't have to shield this. There's no way that it's an earth power. Because of the ground and steel typing, it is resisted by you know Queen. I'm gonna actually opt to double shield here. They're gonna swap in their fairy type against my poison type. You know, Queen is really dominating the match now. Going to be able to pick up another shield. And we're going to swap into Skarmory. And save the Nidoqueen for a potential sack swap later. It's always good sometimes to have a Pokemon that can do something like that. And unfortunately, they get to another Weather Ball. That's fine, though. It's not going to be able to take us out. It's only neutral. We're going to be leaving with a Brave Bird here. They're going to bring in... This is a really bad mistake, guys. They're going to bring in the G-Stone Fisk. I thought they were a little bit farther away to the rock side than they were, so I lose all that energy. And in the back is going to be an Azumarill. So this is really difficult, guys. I get the attack boost, and I don't throw. I don't try and sack swap like I was supposed to. One play rough does not do enough damage. We're going to be able to throw a boosted Night Slash. And it's just not going to be enough, guys. Huge mistake on my part. Throw the energy against the G-Stun Fist. We have a lot of stuff left. We would have survived a couple of bubbles. That's all the games I have for you guys today. Hopefully you learned a little something. Take away from some of my mistakes and uh, put them in your own games. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you liked the video by leaving it a like and commenting down below which battle you liked the most. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four or five. I don't know. I couldn't count there, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.